This time, we're asked to simplify an expression that has a radical in the denominator and that radical is a binomial. Recall that in order to eliminate this, you're going to have to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of this binomial. So the binomial is 3 radical 5 minus 2 radical 5. So the conjugate is 3 radical 5 plus 2 radical 3. So it's the same expression, but this time we are adding instead of subtracting. Rewriting the expression we're given. And all you have to do now is multiply both the numerator and the denominator by this conjugate. 3 radical 5 plus 2 radical 3. 3 radical 5 minus 2 radical 3. So we're multiplying the top and bottom by this expression. Well, I need to go ahead and do some multiplication and some simplification on this. First, looking at the numerator. 2 radical 3 times 3 radical 5. 2 times 3 is 6. Radical 3 times radical 5. Plus 2 times 2 is 4. Square root of 3 times the square root of 3. Now, when I look at what I have here in the bottom, in the denominator, I'm going to recognize that what I have is the difference, I'm going to end up with the difference of two squares, a squared minus b squared. So I can go ahead and rewrite that as follows. Minus 2 radical 3 squared Oh, I actually made an error. This needs to be a positive. This needs to be a positive. Okay. Because that way when you multiply out the first two terms, you'll get this. The outer term and the inner will cancel out and then the last will also give you a square, and that's the difference of two squares. So this is actually the conjugate. You need to multiply by which has a positive here. Okay, so this is the difference of two squares. And now I'm going to go ahead and work with the numerator a little bit more. And I'm gonna use the product rule. Recall that with the product rule, I can rewrite this as six times the radical 3 times 5. And then here, I'm going to recognize that I actually have 4 times this radical 3 squared divided by 3 radical 5 squared minus 2 radical 3 squared. OK, the next step is 6. 3 times 5 is 15, plus 4, a radical times itself is the radicand, so that gives me 3, divided by 3 squared, 3 times 3 is 9, radical 5 squared is going to be 5, minus 2 squared is 4, radical 3 times itself is 3. Continuing to simplify, now we've done the hard part. This is 3 radical 15 plus 12 divided by 45 minus 12, almost there. 6 radical 15 plus 12 divided by 45 minus 12, which gives you 33. Okay, so this took some work. But staying organized and being very careful to watch your signs um, when you're working with conjugates, we saw that we had a binomial in the denominator and it contained a radical. So in order to eliminate those radicals from the denominator, we multiply by the conjugate of this binomial. The conjugate is the same expression but the sum instead of the difference. 
So I multiplied both the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate. Top expression gave me this. On the bottom, I have the difference of two squares. So I had this. Then I just used the product rule to simplify what turned out to be 6 radical 15. I also recalled that a radical times itself equals the radicand, and that allowed me to simplify all three of these because this became 3, this became 5, and this became 3, and then I squared the other numbers, found the products, did some arithmetic, and ended up with 6 radical 15 plus 2 divided by 33. And this is in simplest form. There are no perfect squares under the radical. There are no fractions under the radical. And there's no longer a radical in the denominator. That was our last example for this lesson. And today we covered simplifying radicals. See you soon on educator.com.